And this is Caleb Kinslow, and I'm in Central Florida finding out creative things young people are doing to impact their generation for Christ. So I caught up with James Walls to find out about his ministry called The Journey. James, tell me exactly what is The Journey? Caleb, The Journey is a parachurch, which means a lot of things. Um, first thing, it's the bridge between the actual church and the community. And um, one of the things we focus is doing a lot of outreaches and mentoring towards high school students and those who are in college. So have you always had a heart for something like this, like you know, years before or what? Yes, um, I definitely had a heart for uh, young people. Um, I'm young myself, and so I feel, I feel like I can relate with them. And was there a time where you felt that God was laying this on your heart to do something like this? It was a time when I was at a, working at a church as the media director. And at that moment, um, God laid on my heart to to go ahead and start ministry. And I didn't know what that looked like. You know, you hear God saying, start ministry. And you're like, start ministry? I, I'm not a pastor, I'm a media director. And so uh, that's when, you know, everything happened and God transitioned some things, moved some things around and you have the journey now. So you mentioned that God had to kind of like wake you up and transition you, you know, to doing this ministry. What was that like? So I cried. <laughs> That's, that's real, that's yeah, real. I cried, I was like, God, uh, I'm not getting paid and you want me to start ministry. How, do, you know, who, who do I talk to? And next thing, I, you know, he started bringing different people in my lives. And, and so I started talking to different pastors, different community leaders in the area. And they started, you know, giving me advice on how to do it and what should I do and things like that. Why do you think there's such a need for something like this caliber ministry? The church is trying. I don't want to say the church is not doing their job, but at the same time, um, the church is always going to be the church. Um, with this generation, they, they want something more, and I feel like um, that's what the journey is, is catering to, you know, meeting the needs of the young people, meeting them where they're at, and helping them make life decisions. And so. so I know a lot of youth groups, I mean, they kind of have a similar type thing, mm -hmm. but what makes this a little different? We're, we're all about life. Most youth groups, they want to get you into the church and get you saved and then help you out. But I don't even care if you don't, if you decide not to come to the journey. I want to help you make quality life decisions for the 21st century. And so that's what we're about. We're not about getting members. We're about empowering young people, you know, towards greatness. So something like, for example, if I wanted to be a rider or a, a bus driver or something like that, mm -hmm. um, how would the journey be able to help me with, you know, accomplish those type of goals? Well, first thing we would do is we would kind of disciple you and figure out, you know, if you're sure that that's what you want to do. And then um, we would try to partner you up with different organizations, different people that will coach you on that. And so um, God has blessed me to meet all types of people and all those people are willing to get involved and help cultivate these different gifts in the young people. So definitely using like the different context that you have. Exactly. So are you guys actually affiliated with the church or like how does that necessarily like work? I mean, is there like a covering or? Um, the two churches that we're connected with is Crossover Church in Tampa and TLC Family Church here in Lakeland. So, and then the organization that, that also covers us as well um, when it comes to the community is Campfire USA and they're all over. The world. And what are some of the things that you've uh, accomplished so far? One of the things we've accomplished is we've established a worship uh, center where college students and high school students alike can come in and they can worship God with other college students, you know, or high school students alike. Um, they're cultivating their gifts, you know, through singing. Um, we've had different ones uh, speak and giving, share, just sharing their testimonies. It's not just a Christian organization. Yes, we are, we are faith-based, something that you don't find too many people who enjoy doing this, but we went to an organization and we basically did landscaping to their, their whole yard and everything. And so we beautified their yard, we picked up the trash and different things like that. And so those are just some of the few things we did. Right. Across. It's like a great way to kind of just bring in the different community aspects and then once mm -hmm. they're there, you kind of kind of disciple them into, into exactly. who Christ is and kind of growing in that respect. Exactly. <laughs>